All right, so pretty much today is gonna to be a simple day. I just need to uh, put this suspension into my girlfriend's car some, and then I gotta take the ball joint off of it as well. Well, the control arm's probably gonna come off, so it's probably gonna be on this side right here. I just wanna test out the, uh, the right angle impact and see if it's actually gonna do the work that I think it's gonna do. And then if the right angle impact fails, then most likely I'll have to bring out the big dog Okay, so I'm going, I'm ripping cobalt pretty hard, but don't forget that I do have the stubby. Stubby will probably have to just hang around for now because I actually already worked on this with, and it did really good. So I already know that it did good. Yeah, so uh, it's time to get started. All right, so with the right adapters, obviously, because I don't have them, definitely wouldn't have came across that problem. Just see if I can take the lug nuts off this thing. I know this thing can handle it. I'll make sure it's on loose. Unless that, whoa, I think these were loose. What the hell? That rim better not be loose. Dude, I'll be so mad. That's what it was, I had to drive, uh, when I was coming here the other day, freaking, the thing was like wobbling. I'm like, what the hell? And then I got off the highway and I checked, dude, one of the rims was loose. I'm like, what the hell happened, dude? All right, so definitely can handle lug nuts. Obviously, I knew that was gonna happen, but I wanna make sure you guys get to see it, you know what I mean, in action. All right, next thing. All right, so I kind of cheated a little bit just because B New England rust out here is, is real, and uh, I had to put a little bit of uh, grease on there just to uh, hopefully loosen some of this stuff up because it is probably going to be a hard time. I tell you what. Right, let's see if this thing actually does it. Loosen. That's what I don't like about this. Okay, actually broke it. Sweet. Now the fucking socket stuck in there. Ah, fuck you. Sweet. All right, so after a lot of uh, heartache, I finally got the uh, sway bar link uh, bolt out. I had to get a vice grip and actually clamp it down. Didn't ruin the boot. Pretty happy about that. Now I'm gonna see if I can try to tackle. See if you guys can see it. The uh, the 19 that's hiding under here. I don't think I got good. Uh, yeah, I don't got a good. But right now I'm gonna use this chrome extension with the impact socket, which I'm not a big fan of. We're about to see if this thing will actually break it with the freaking. Oh God. All right, let me back up. I'm not trying to get any. Damn, that was a big time fail. All right, so that was pretty much an embarrassing fail. The uh, right angle could not break the uh, 19 that holds the, f the fork, the wishbone, whatever you want to call it. So now I have to bring up the big dog. Actually, I haven't used this thing at all. I'm gonna be surprised if this thing will break it. I've already made a video of it. I know it will. All right, let's see this thing in action. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Well, you know what? After the freaking, after the right angle softened it up a little bit, then the big dog came in and broke it off. That's cheating, but whatever. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna tackle another one over here, which is uh, another 19, but it's over here. You know what? No, never mind. That's a 17. Can you even see it? All right, let's see if I can get it in there. I'm gonna loosen this thing up. I don't know why the hell it's taking so long, but it definitely broke. Yep, that broke, sweet. What a pain in the ass this thing is. All right, so far it's okay. It's kind of let me down a couple of times, but let's see what else happens. 
Wow, what a pain in the ass this job is going to be, like, honestly, like, it definitely, uh, no, I'm just talking to the camera. Uh, yeah, I just pretty much took all this stuff out, just getting it ready to uh, drop the, uh, the strut. <sighs> Man, what a pain in the ass this job is. Honestly, if you would have went to a mechanic and uh, got it done, they would have definitely at least charged you, like, 500 bucks or maybe even more. Who knows? The guys on the electric bikes are sweet. All right, let's get this one on here real quick. Kind of hard to hold the freaking camera and do this at the same time. That kind of sucks. Okay. Hey, what? I remember when I was at the junkyard, I didn't have the, the deep 15 or the 16, and I was like freaking out, and I had to use a, an adjustable, a crappy adjustable. Oh man, I gotta watch out, and that's gonna drop from the top. Definitely a two-person kind of job, but whatever. My buddy's uh, actually a little busy right now, and he's building something that's out of control. And if you guys know what that is, then that'll be for a later video. Alright, so I got another bolt to tackle, and I totally forgot about it. Uh, it's too busy uh, making videos and not paying attention to certain shit, so let's see if we can actually break this one. This about this. I never understand this about this one. It um, it like turns off every now and then. I don't know if it's, that's like a defect that I got from the the defect that I got from the. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It just does it every now and then, which is it's very unusual. All right. So another thing on the agenda is I have to take this uh control arm off. It's really bad. The uh, ball joint's not too bad, but. The actual, yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear it or see it. It's really, really bad. It's just, it's just all crusted out. So we're just going to get the, uh, the right angle to come in there in this little sweet ass spot. Take this thing down. Here we go. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, that's one. And this is why you need certain tools for certain things. Cause this little confined little area right here is kind of hard to get into. I can't even hold the freaking camera at the same time. All right, I'm gonna have to turn this. Sweet. I was just gonna say that. Yeah, I just want to show you guys how bad this uh, control arm was. Let me see if I can get some good lighting on it. Look at that. That's like completely rusted out. Now the uh, control arm that I got from the junkyard from the last video, it's way better condition. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna put that in there real quick. Now we're just gonna tighten this bad boy up. I know, right? That's not funny. <laughs> All right, guys. After like a really, really long day, as you can see, it's pretty dark out. I had the worst time putting this in uh, because I had to be cheapo depot and had to go to the junkyard to get this control arm. It was the wrong one. It was for an 06 and I, my car is an 07. So that all right there was a pain in the ass. Then I had to drive all the way up to Nashua to freaking get the part for this because no one else had it. But put it all in there. I put the old strut in there because I have an 06 strut. So I'm assuming that's probably not going to fit too. I don't want to take the risk putting all that stuff in. But yeah, I tightened everything down, made sure everything was bolted down. The 17s, the 19s, the 15s, they're all bolted down. Even these little 12s are all bolted down pretty good. This is all bolted down pretty good. Even inside the control arm is bolted down pretty good. And then this is bolted down. So that's pretty much it. Pretty, pretty happy with my, uh, pretty happy with my result. Uh, the right angle impact actually came through a couple times pretty good and then the big brother had to come in there and just loosen up like one boat but besides that I could pretty much handle it all with uh, with the right angle pretty happy uh, yeah so see you guys soon have a good one